Can we take a second to talk about Dante and DMC4? Because he's not good. And it's not like I'm talking about his character. Like, it's, it's fucking Dante. How can I not like him? What I'm talking about is his gameplay. And respectfully, Dante is shit in DMC4. So before you guys dislike the video, how about you just watch it and let me explain myself. Okay? Is that, is that fine? Alright, fuck. So there's 20 missions in DMC4 and you'll be playing 7 of them as Dante. Now that might not seem like that much, but Dante is fucking horrible as I said before, so it, it, it lasts a century, man. First and foremost, this game is built around Nero. The enemies in this game were designed for Nero and Dante just doesn't really work against them. It might have been on purpose or maybe it was just because of time constraints, I don't know, but it negatively affects Dante's missions in a very noticeable way. You see this guy? That's Nero. And Nero is a, he's a pretty simple character to understand. He was introduced to welcome newcomers to the franchise and his gameplay heavily reflects that. See, because he only has one melee and one ranged weapon, it makes fighting enemies pretty uncomplicated. And along with his Devil Bringer, it just makes for a kind of easy time. Because this wasn't my first DMC game, and I consider myself pretty competent at hack and slash games, I often find myself A ranking missions, but S ranking a lot of the fights. Even for newcomers, Nero's moveset makes it pretty simple to string together easy combos, but you can use a lot more complex techniques to get those S ranks. Especially on those higher difficulties, bruh. Talk about that, that grab, upward, fucking slide dash that won't work on them higher ones, boy. I tried. If I were to describe Nero, I'd say he's easy to learn, but hard to master. He doesn't have many weapons, but considering his vast moveset, he's a really good character to play as regardless of your skill level. But if I were to describe Dante, I'd say he's the complete fucking opposite. He's hard to learn, and even harder to master. Playing as him in DMC4, if I'm being honest, it, it isn't fun. Unlike Nero, he has a variety of weapons, but each weapon is kind of bare bones, not really having many moves. See, the way you're supposed to play Dante is by switching weapons on the fly and mixing and matching their moves to make combos, but it, it's not really that simple in this game. Unless you're a fantastic DMC player, playing against Dante in this game would be a very hard time. And I personally think I'm pretty good at DMC games. Not to brag, but throughout all my playthroughs of DMC5, I didn't use a single gold orb, even though Capcom was fucking throwing them at me. But my point is that Dante is unreasonably harder in DMC4 than he is in any other DMC game. In DMC4, his gameplay is the most complex and complicated than it has ever been, and it just doesn't make sense. To be honest, whenever I see people doing crazy combos with Dante, they always seem to be using glitches and cracks in the game, essentially just shit that wasn't meant to be there but things you can take advantage of. DMC4 has a lot of problems, and Dante is, Dante is fucking one of them. The special edition of DMC4 added Virgil and Lady and Trish, who I don't really care about, but Virgil played fucking fantastically. I don't see why they couldn't have just reworked Dante or tweaked how the enemies worked for the Dante stages, because it, it just doesn't work. So when I played as Virgil and had an absolutely fantastic time, it just reminded me of how unenjoyable Dante is. Along with all the other problems this game has, like the enemy design of this game, is, is kind of bad. I know I said the enemies were designed for Nero, but that doesn't mean they were designed well. But as I was saying, along with all the other problems this game has, having a character that is just too complicated to play as basically ruined it for me. If it wasn't for me being interested in the story, I probably would have dropped it, but I continued for that one reason. And also, you know, I played as Virgil, so that was, that was pretty fucking fun. Also, Dante ruined any chance I had at S ranking his missions. Like, I could just barely manage an A rank. You know what, I just lied, I didn't get any A ranks on Dante missions, I, I, I got B ranks if I was lucky. But since we're nearing the end of the video, let me just leave on this message. Just play as Virgil. It makes the DMC games more fun every single time, so just do it. This was Jugo Young, and as always, I'll see you guys next time. Like, subscribe, comment, uh, fucking subscribe and comment, but fucking subscribe, like damn, let me get to 100, shit. But nah, I appreciate y'all, I'll see you guys next time, peace.